Great. What's up, everybody? Jesse. Charlotte. Slot City Fishing. Uh, we're here at Anna Maria Island today. It's our uh, post deployment vacation. We're just doing some surf fishing. Uh, in this video, we're gonna teach you about surf fishing on vacation, how you can just bring out not a huge amount of gear, some simple store-bought rigs and uh, sinkers weights, and uh, catch some fish. We're gonna try to catch some whiting today uh, to do a little catch and cook. Uh, but snook, redfish, uh, a lot of different species run the, the gulf side that, that we don't see over in, uh, on the east side, particularly snook. Um, but we caught some good whiting yesterday, met a nice guy on the beach, and uh, they were making some classic uh, surf fishing mistakes, freshwater stuff, so I gave them some gear, showed them what to do, and uh, we're kinda gonna talk about those things today. And uh, this is a very touristy beach. We already got swimmers out here, joggers, uh, so we'll talk about that too, man, some surf fishing etiquette when you're fishing on a public beach like this. But uh, we got our lines in the water uh, on the first rod out there. We have uh, sand flea fish bites with some live sand fleas that we caught in the rake. And then these two got fish shrimp bites uh, with some uh, just frozen shrimp on it. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. You guys are fine. You're not bothered, you're good. You can walk through. That's a pretty good one. I think, we, I think we can get some better ones though. See any time that like, watch when the wave goes back right here. Look, watch it. See how that, all like the little bubbles moving? That's where they are. So there's a ton of them right here. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. When we get the surf cart out tomorrow, I have a thing that we can put these in. That way we can keep collecting them. But that's good for right now. Lean that up against a chair. That way they can't come out. That's really good bait though, dude. For real, I think we got a really good chance to catch some. There might be a fish on here. Yeah, fish, fish, boo boo, Scarlet, come on. There's a fish on here. Leave it in the rod holder and reel it in. Oh, I can't hear come on, it. Come on, come on, come on. He's almost here. <laughs> almost done. All right, now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> got your first whiting of the day, okay? What'd you catch him on? On sand fleas. <laughs> sand flea and fish bites, huh? Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. You want to throw them back? All right, go ahead. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm editing this video now, and I realized I didn't talk about gear. So real quick, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I was using. Uh, these are 12-foot surf rods with pin fierce reels. They're really cheap. You don't have to have expensive stuff. And then you'll see I caught a nice uh, snook that's on a seven foot uh, medium heavy inshore setup uh, with a 3000 size spinning reel. Uh, for line, there's 30 pound braid on everything. Um, and then I was using the store-bought Pompano rigs. You can tie your own rigs if you're a little more advanced. I got videos on how to do that using a rig board. Uh, just check it out on the channel, but it may not be cost effective for you if you only fish, you know, once or twice a month or a few times during the summer. You just buy these store-bought Pompano rigs and they work really, really good. Um, then for bait, we were using live sand fleas that we caught in our rake. That's really fun to do. If you got kids, you probably got one of these with you. Um, kids just like to catch sand fleas and they'll, they'll catch bait for you and it works really good. Uh, live bait, as fresh as you can get it. Um, but we were also using peel and eat shrimp from Publix that we bought at the grocery store while we were buying beer and snacks or whatever for the trip. And then we were using fish bites. Uh, if you haven't heard of this, this stuff is great. It's an artificial bait. It stays on the hook really, really good. So all those fish that you're catching out there, little bait fish, they're gonna eat that shrimp and the sand fleas real quick. Uh, this stuff stays on the hook. It's got color and scent. It works really good. Uh, for sinkers, if there's not a lot of current, you can just use a regular old pyramid sinker. 
Um, but I fish mostly on the East Coast where there is a lot of current. Uh, you can buy these Sputnik weights like this. Uh, these are made by my buddy Chip, the sinker guy. Uh, they got these uh, prongs that flip in and out, so they stick in the sand, but then they flip out and it drags through uh, really easily. Um, for the snook, I was using, uh, up, um, I was using uh, these dirty boxer lures made by Fish Bites. They also have scent. And then my favorite soft plastic is these down south lures. Uh, we were also throwing hard baits in the surf, uh, a miradim, and then a gold spoon. Then get you some sand spikes. You don't gotta use the metal ones like I got. They are really convenient. You can just use some PVC from the hardware store, cut it up, stick it in the sand, you'll be good to go. Then just your regular stuff, pliers, knives, scissors, you know, all your snacks, beer, some ice, uh, that way uh, you're good to go. Uh, but yeah, if uh, you wanna buy any of this stuff, uh, we do have an Amazon storefront. You can buy it from us, that way you're ready to go for, for your trip. But any tackle shop, they'll have all this stuff. And uh, watch out for those other videos on YouTube. They'll try to convince you to buy some crazy expensive stuff. Uh, I purposely was using cheap stuff out there to show you uh, that you can catch fish, uh, be a hero, catch some whiting, make some tacos, impress your friends. You'll see I caught a pompano on the beach and all the kids loved it, big shark. Uh, but yeah, um, really easy to do. You don't got, don't got to have crazy fancy stuff, but let's get back to the video. Spines on it to keep it from moving. Yeah. Uh, here I'll show you. That's my, tight. Yeah. My Did buddy. Make uh, it? My buddy makes them. But uh, you throw it and they stick. And then. Oh, put this down. You throw them out there and they stick in the sand, right? Yeah. But once you reel back on it hard, they flip backwards and then they come in with no drag. Yeah. yeah they're pretty good, man. Hey, Scarlet, Scarlet, Scarlet. That one. You can have this one, man. Oh, I don't want to take it, man. I was just. Uh, I got like a hundred of them in my cooler. Appreciate it. Well, thank yeah, you. yeah. You. That's really cool. The bucket of goodness. Yeah. <laughs> bucket O, please. Bucket O, please. Good idea. All right, hand me the bucket up, please. Yeah. We're gonna call it bucket up, please, huh? Mm-hmm. Bucket up, please. This is bucket up, please. I'm glad you're having fun, dude. I love you. This is cool. Yeah. I want to see the um, video. Oh, you're gonna see it. You're probably gonna see it a hundred times. <laughs> Uh, you got fresh dead shrimp? Fresh dead? Yeah. I got frozen. Okay. Uh, right I'm back here in that cooler. You can pick out what you like. Thanks. Jeez Louise, was it just me or was that guy rude? I don't think he was trying to be. I think he's just like old as hell, but he was rude, dude. You know who he reminded me of? The dad on Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, 100%. That was, that was him. You ever seen one of these? Aren't those the ones that like- It's a sucker. Yeah. Yeah, it's a remora. Oh my God. Um, what is, have you tried?
ladyfish. Ladyfish. Old ladyfish. Not what we're after, but still fun. There you go. First fish, boys. Nice whiting. Nice whiting, we're gonna use him for cut bait. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bonnet head. It's a good one. You can eat these. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We caught a couple of them yesterday and the guy threw them back. No, you can eat these. All right, guys. We got a bonnet head shark. That was on uh, shrimp and fish bites. You can eat these things. Uh, just with your shark species, make sure that you know what you're harvesting because there's a lot of different ones that you can get in big trouble. But we're going to let this guy go. You want to pick? <laughs> Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. It is letting you know on that rod right there, I got a live fish just like this big with a huge hook in it. <laughs> it's it's about right here. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Pompano? Uh, that was on a sand flea fish bite and shrimp that we bought from Publix. So they're out here. Really easy to do. I'm gonna throw him back. He was 11 and a half inches, so he's short, but it's a good catch. Yeah, it pulled it hard. A 
another whitey. That's a decent one too. All right, dudes, got another one. It's pretty decent whiting. Uh, I think I'm gonna do some ceviche tonight. I'll show you how to do that uh, later on, maybe in another video. Uh, but yeah, whiting, this is what you catch out here. Um, I caught that pompano, bonnethead shark. Uh, I think I hooked up on a snook on a lure earlier, but it flipped off uh, right in the surf. But uh, basically I'm using one of these Sputnik sinkers then a double dropper rig, and you can see the, that fish bite in its mouth, and then I tipped it with a piece of shrimp. Uh, all the stuff that I'm using, I bought it before my trip. You can order it online. Uh, my buddy makes this stuff, the sinker guy, the link will be in the description, but um, any like three ounce pyramid weight sinker will work. These work good because I got these little spines on this stick. And then double dropper rigs, some people call them pompano rigs, um, high-low rigs. And you just buy these pre-made, that way when you show up, your vacation, you're not worried about tackle or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him on ice, get these lines back out, because the bite seems like it's picking up. What? Is it shallow enough to wade? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool, thanks. And that was fun. <laughs> yeah, cool, thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's fighting too. Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. Let's walk over here. All right, guys, just caught this nice snook. Uh, we caught him waiting over there by that dock, and it was on a Fish Bites Fight Club. Uh, I think this is the butt kickers, the paddle tail one in the white knuckle color. But uh, let's go ahead and release this guy so he can fight another day. This is my second snook I've ever caught, man. And uh, when you catch him like this waiting, it's pretty rewarding, man. So let's revive him and get him back. There he goes. Well, that's gonna do it for the video, dudes. I hope y'all enjoyed it. You can see we caught some awesome fish, uh, not using a lot of really expensive gear, so you can totally do this on your vacation. Uh, that was our post-deployment vacation. I just got back from a seven-month deployment out to the Middle East, so much needed. It was a great time, caught a lot of great fish. Uh, if you want a more detailed explanation on some more advanced surf fishing tactics, I have a video, it's like how to surf fish uh, 101. It has like 200,000 views on it, uh, but that goes into great detail on how I do things and the products that I would recommend to like a more advanced angler. Uh, check out our Amazon storefront if you wanna buy any of this stuff, that way you're gonna be ready for your next trip. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you next time.